Oh, I was surprised about the uh, the numbers of res respondents that we had for the survey. It just shows how important this issue is. The survey results are in, and 30,000 people took the Knox County Schools reopening survey online. Most were parents, and half of them want to see school return to normal this fall. Now, insight from the survey shows what students and teachers want and what they can handle. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith explains how their input will impact the school year. 30,000 people yield a lot of survey results, 154 pages worth. KCS broke down all this data by parent, teacher, student, and admin responses, and by zip code. Uh, the main thing for us to do is to be ready, whatever the situation is, uh, on August the 10th. So here are some of the takeaways. About half of survey takers want school to go back on campus and be as normal as possible. 36% are up for a half in-person, half online school year. The remaining minority wants all online. When it comes to what would make people feel more comfortable in a school, the top answers were consensus among the medical community it's safe, a decrease in cases in Knox County, and if a proven virus treatment becomes available. If we follow those guidelines, then, then that's our best chance for getting back in school, getting back in school on time. Across the board, no one wants a longer school day or a longer school year to make up for lost time. But when it comes to safety measures, 85% of people want regular disinfection of common areas. Half the students who responded want staff to wear face masks and want temperature checks for themselves each day. Teachers are doing online training, but about 90% said they're concerned students will not be held accountable for attending online classes. 62% of students admit this too. The way our students, our teachers, our principals, and our parents feel uh, weighs in heavily on my mind. Shannon Smith, 10 News. A community task force is going through that data right now. The group of parents, volunteers and business leaders was chosen by the Board of Education. Teachers voiced their concern. They were left off of that panel, but a teacher focus group did meet with the superintendent this week who said he's trying to get as much input from them as possible. We've provided no instructions to board members like to choose any one type of a person, but just somebody from their community that would represent the views of their community. The superintendent plans to continue meeting with focus groups this week. He will have his recommendation for the school year to the Board of Education by July 15th.